Well, this is about as far as I'm going to go upstream uh, due to the shallowness and the swiftness here of the current. I'm going to uh, turn around and start heading back down. Uh, that bridge with the busy traffic is Route 680. And then the uh, bridge nearest to me with the green bottom and the uh, fence, that's Mahoning Avenue. And that goes into downtown. Uh, for point of reference, there's the U-Haul self-storage. Everybody who's ever driven 680 knows where that's at. But uh, speaking of going down river, uh, when I pass the B&O station, heading upstream, there's a few rapids. There were some construction workers there. They were, took a break to watch me bust them. And when I got through, they started fist pumping and cheering. I guess that provided a little entertainment for them. And uh, before I got that far, some people who are associated with the Mahoning Paddlers, or Mahoning River Paddlers, I believe, uh, one of the guys, uh, I guess it's on the head of that, is uh, Chuck Miller. His son and him, are, they're the ones to thank for the new piers, so thank you guys. And also the ones to thank for clearing out the, the uh, dams and putting up the signage. It's no small task. And, uh, you know, as much as uh, I can get out and I can recreate and I can do, you know, whatever, and I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, safety as much as some people, you know, it really helps e even from the novice to most avid paddlers knowing what's downstream and uh, I usually just find that stuff out on my own but to have people like that who are giving the public the heads up that's that's a good thing uh, it's funny uh, a lot of people they're acting like they've never seen anybody paddle upstream and maybe they haven't but I find it uh, even though it's more challenging and more exhausting when you go back downstream to your insert point you're home you know, most people they leave that base, go back down or go downstream, have a vehicle waiting on them or pick up or some kind of rally point, and then they start shuttling back and forth with vehicles and you know doing that burdensome task that, uh, in my opinion, kind of takes away from the adventure of it. You know, I'm not saying uh, like I'm a trapeze artist without a safety net or anything. It's it's paddling on a river. It's it's pretty safe. But uh, if there's an adventure to be had, I want the most of it.